All right, this is the second update I'm putting out there. This is how to modify the timers that some of you guys are finding that they don't have a uh, mechanism that looks like the other video. This is the other type of mechanism that you're going to find out there on the inside. Um, it has to do with the, uh, the top gear, the way it rotates inside a gear. This one's a little easier to modify. So uh, I'm going to pull this out of the box, show you what it looks like. So, I'm getting these guys at Walmart. Um, like I said, five and some change. They used to sell them at Target in a nice hard shell. I can't find those anymore. Uh, if any of you guys have been doing this for a while, you'll notice that they change these things constantly. Um, if you look in the background, those are about six different models that I've been dealing with over the years. So anyways, uh, first thing you want to do is crack this thing open. You're going to need a tri-head screwdriver. I've already done it, so I'm just going to pop it open. And if you watch the other video in the past, you're going to know that everything we're doing is going to come down to this gearbox. So I'm going to go faster this video. What you need to do is pop this gearbox up and crack it open so we can work on the internal gears. Uh, if you need to figure out how to do that, um, just watch the other video. It's, it's actually easy. You just pop and flip the tabs. So once you do that, if you keep all the gears and axles on one side, you should have something really nice like that. I'm going to let you all get a real good look at that. Now, the little magnetic motor is going to sit right here. Um, I usually keep it in the housing that it's on but all we need to mess with are these top three gears I'm going to try to point at it this one that one and that one so if you want you can pull those out and I'm going to tell you what we're going to do now I'm not going to show you this I'm just going to show you the end result but you're going to cut this top smaller gear off this plate and you're going to do that on this one too. And then you're going to sand those two gears smooth, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to glue this gear, once it's flat and smooth, to the bottom of this gear. And then we're going to put a rubber washer between these two gears so that you end up with something that looks like that and if you can see this is that bottom gear I've just cut the, the little smaller top gear off it and same thing with this one right here and then I've glued this whole thing together and it basically makes one solid gear and it changes the uh, reduction down so that it's not as slow it's actually sped up quite a bit um, and you, you can see the top is still the same. You're going to put that little piece right here back on top. And it should still move pretty freely. But now you have this solid gear. So you have this unit right here. And you can see this all those three gears we've just glued them together you know we had to modify them just a little bit and you just drop that in there just give you a comparison here original new So you can see that that gear, there's no longer that one gear on the second axle from the far left. It's now been moved to the first axle on the far left, maybe the far right on the camera. But that's what you want to do right there, okay? Uh, if you have any questions how we did this, just go watch the first video. It's all there. Um, 
simply put it back in to the timer and then strap on your top unit and you're ready to go. Hope you guys like this. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave comments and I'll get back to them. Kind of lazy about it, but uh, I'll, I'll make an effort. Enjoy.